While I was away, I was told that one governor stepped outside the law and banned Mogoka in Mombasa. On behalf of the hustlers and the Mogoka traders and uh, the consumers of Mogoka, we want to ask that governor to operate within the constraints of the law. Mogoka and Mira are synonymous in content, and they have been approved. We even export them outside this country. And therefore, we are saying that the traders that are involved in Mogoka business should also operate within the confines of our law. Make sure that you have warning signs, just like a cigarette. When you smoke a cigarette, we know that it has harmful effects to your health. But there is a warning there. Cigarettes, alcohol are goods that are not supposed to be sold to people under the age of 18. Similarly, the traders of Mogoka should also observe the measures that have been put in place by other goods to ensure that they put warnings to where they are selling their goods and also to desist from selling the, 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 the goods to uh, 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 citizens under the age of 18. Otherwise, as a UDA party, we are um, proceeding with our grassroots elections. We are now going to the constituency level. And I want to urge the UDA party membership to continue building a strong party. We are just from benchmarking with the CPC party in China. And we've seen the importance of having a strong political party that will help our president deliver his mandate. Thank you very much.